Hello, YouTubians, Minecraftians, and gamers alike. Today, we're going to do a Realm the Mad God playthrough with Aminus Switch the Light Dragon. That is me from the Ascidian Dragons and the Scour team. Today, we're going to do a kind of tutorial on how to get good items through trade. So, basically, it's going to be a tutorial on how to actually trade in the Realm of the Mad God. So, I am in here for the time being just to give you a little basis of what's going to be going on. So, I am in US Southwest. That is my. Uh, server I usually go on. I have a priest. And basically what you're going to do before you even start thinking about trading is you're going to go into uh, a database of different items for Realm of Bad God. And you're going to get a good idea of what's rare, what people are, what's the most high demand ones, and what people that are kind of low level would like. Uh, so get a good idea of items in the rarity of other than your own uh, class. So go ahead and do that, and then you're going to go to your home server, Nexus, and you're going to get a good idea how people trade on that. Uh, for this one, usually people meet, those are just AFK people, but usually people meet over here, that's usually the main trading spot. Uh, some people you host drop parties, is what that is, is they go like this, drop party in the chat, uh, and all these people, and they'll go like three, two, one, and then they'll start dropping stuff. Just randomly, I'm gonna get away, so I'm gonna give you a demonstration before people take all my good, that kind of good stuff. So they're gonna like drop stuff, and people are gonna maul themselves over it. And let's save your full inventory. Uh, what you can do, I don't think you can't actually do it anymore. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's impossible. There used to be a little glitch where you could, but I think that was a long time ago. But that's okay. Uh, they would. You, usually they have all these key tricks that allow them to take up these they, the, the items, the rare items are dropping really fast and that's not really cool so that's one way that people like to uh, trade another is basically by saying, being straightforward here, I'm selling a certain item for a certain item with specific stats or just a certain item for example, I could be asking hey, I am selling Silver chain mail with eight act and I'll put eight plus eight defense usable by no I want to put warrior basically I'll put silver chain mail a parentheses eight defense parentheses four um a certain item with a certain stat that I would like so it'd be silver chain mail eight defense for let's say a priest wand that has plus one percent fame that would be one something I would want, or a, a priest one with plus one percent fame, but a uh, priest priest book, etc. So that's a good idea basis of how people. And some people just say, "Hey, I'm selling this stuff for uh, if any if I see anything else I like in your inventory for my certain class or for rarity or for a rare thing other people have that would like." And so people will do that as well. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how you can meet these needs. So first, with the basis knowledge of different classes, rare items, we're going to go into the Nexus. Now before you say any- I mean, we're going to go into these dungeon uh, realms. And before you say anything, no, we're not going to go scavenging for the rarest items around. We're going to go find medium, like a normal to uncommon items, which uncommon, if you know anything about Pokemon at all, are not really- uh, not really uncommon. They're kind of like more common than other things. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some quests, and if you're a lower level, you'll get easier quests. For example, like the bandit thug right here, and they'll drop some stuff. See, look, we got a good, good little hole there for mages and, cl and uh, I'm gonna call it the priests clerics. So clerics. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these a power wand and this firebrand staff, and you take those. Uh, they're not really good. But it's it's okay for people that don't know what they're doing, which is a lot. Uh, some people sell stuff for solely pots. If you see a lot potions, excuse me, uh, on the server, people call them pots. Uh, so people usually sell that for uh, potions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna if you see a lot of people with high demand of stuff you like with potions, you're gonna go and do that. So basically, it's a lot of observing. So to discharge stack, you'll take that. A couple potions. If there's someone that was trading potions, so you want to hurry with the potions. So let's say you got a good little inventory, uh, with going through like spider uh, caves and pirate caves, etc. You got a good little haul of stuff. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit your hotkey and go back to the nexus. And this is where the main trading begins. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to just come back over here. And you're going to ask people like, hey, guess what? I have this for uh, this with this amount of stats. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to type in trading. Make sure you have uh, all correct grammar and stuff. People like that for some reason. Trading silver and put your product in capital letters. Chainmail. Parentheses plus eight defense like that. But D E F people who understand. Plus defense defense for uh for example priest wand or rings. Like that. And just hit enter. And most likely or not, people will come and talk to you if if you see something you like, you'll be able to trade. So it's all about uh, supply, and like demanding of stuff and pe uh, people people have in their inventory. So this is the most efficient way if you're a lower level to get rarer items. As you can see, no one really wanted it because silver chainmail chain mail isn't that rare. But if you get pretty good stuff and you see like a buying. If you see, like, buying defense, uh, defense, uh, defense potion. Oh, oh, crap. Like, see, I always miss those. It's kind of sad that I do. Uh, that was pretty good, uh, wand, too. I think. I'm not too sure. Oh, crap. That guy has pretty good stuff. Look at that. Okay, I matched it all. It's a trade. Alright, we got a trader. See, this guy's not gonna trade for me. He has overpowered stuff by far. But if you click something and you see his, he has likes, but he probably doesn't. See, he's got purple dragon. Well, this is a good time to sell she. Fire swords are pretty rare. Uh, purple dragon eggs, I don't know why, but they're rare. Now, those are rare too, as well, and a missile wand. Uh, they are not really rare, that's what I have. As you can see, people usually find stuff of other stuff that they like, and then they trade it for stuff of their certain class, which is pretty smart. Another way of trading is telling people that you're in a specific spot. For example, I'm gonna say, trade with me, oh no, let's not say that, trading by inventory, just put in with a period, at the portal, portal room, upper left hand corner, like that. This is a really efficient way of doing it due to the fact that people don't like moving from their spot to come and they probably don't understand where you are at the exact point if you don't give specific instructions of where you are. So to fix this problem, we're not going to tell them to designate a location. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in the, kind of like right here where people can still see you, kind of like right, as you can see right here, where people usually, traffic flows, you can see people like to go through here. And you go, trading, silver, chain mail. 8 plus 8 defense for priest wand. Uh, you might want to go back and put a priest wand. People really like grammar. And then, to fix the problem of them not knowing who you exactly are, to give them a good idea, you're going to go at Aminus. So that's my name. Just give them a little, uh... A little idea. So we're gonna wait and see if anyone has a kind of like a. If we get into the nub on the fish bait, but we probably won't because this isn't really good art uh, stuff. But uh, it's it's all about what they want. Oh hey, crap, crap, crap. Oh my gosh, I almost lost my tome in the rejection, the rejuvenation. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Here's another way. Usually when you come to spawn, you see random crap. Oh gosh. That's 350, and that's 60, so it's not really good. You're gonna find, just find stuff people want on your server. Just look around, it's all about observation and collection. And if you find good stuff on your server, that's really good. But you're mainly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, go to quests, like that. So we're gonna go do quests, and eventually you'll get stuff. You'll If you have friends that have stuff you like, that's another way of getting good items and trading. Uh, 